At the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, Mosaic is a comprehensive program to help students with autism spectrum disorder transition to and from college. Now located in UTC's Disability Resource Center, this comprehensive program began with only four students based in residence halls in 2008. In general, the program stumbled until Dr. Jane Thurfield Brown began guiding development along in 2009. Most notably, Brown advised the creation of a credit-bearing course, which became a program staple to keep students engaged. Mosaic strives to give students an authentic college experience while providing a supportive, challenging environment that cultivates social, internal, and professional growth. With the eventual goal of gainful employment for students, it is Mosaic's mission to advance independence and improve the community they created for the better. Awesome Advocacy, a short film about autism and the Mosaic program. Part 1, What is Autism? Autism may not have many interpretations, but Chandler Tillery, Warren Mears, Andrew Bond, Jay Carden, and James Cox have their own definitions. There's, there's not, never one form of autism. I think autism can be defined as many different things. Not a medical term, more or less, but in how you can relate to that person. Everyone is different, and I can quote Michelle on this. She says, you know, once you meet one person with autism, you've only met one person with autism. And I feel like everyone is just different. In my opinion, autism is just uh, a different perspective, a different way to see things. Um, and that's, I mean, and it, it's, it's, it's really cool. I think, I think it, it, the, the fact that like everybody has their own unique individuality, like, and it's like not just, you're like, oh yeah, what sport do you like? It's like in real individual things, like real cool stuff, like that really distinguishes you. I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's, yeah, the spectrum wheel and, you know, the kind of thing where, like, yeah, if you've met one person with autism, you've only met one person. Um, also, though, with um, autism, it's not like, like you were saying, there's not, like, a specific definition, but that, I can't think of any other way to describe it, but, yeah, that's... I believe it just means maybe your brain might think in a different way or it might take a little time to process. On average, we might be a little bit more success successful as we might pick up patterns easier or we get really, really focused on the topics that we like. So if we like our topics that we study in school, then that just puts our devotion up that much higher. We are very loyal to anybody, especially our close friends. Part two, Mosaic's origins. Michelle Rigler, Executive Director of the Mosaic Program, shares her thoughts on the history and other aspects of the program as well. I had an assistant director at the time and then Brian, who still works here. Um, and we had a couple students that came to me and just said that they needed something more. They needed more than just the regular accommodations and um, it sparked my interest for autism again. So I studied autism during my undergrad and graduate degree, um, not my doctorate, but my master's degree and I just have always been interested. And so when the students came to me and said they wanted something more, I worked with them to develop what that more looked like. And now 10 years later, it's mosaic the way it is now. Similar to Michelle, Amy Rutherford, Associate Director of the Disability Resource Center and the Mosaic Program, voices her opinions on various aspects of the program as well. That is why Michelle started the program. It was based off of a response of students saying they weren't getting the accommodations that they needed and that they needed more social supports and so from that is Mosaic developed and so over the years we really pay attention to what the students are saying I think that's a strength in our program is that we care a lot about student feedback 
and we provide a lot of platforms for students to provide that. Maybe if they're not comfortable with sharing, we've started implementing surveys so they can share, just so we know that we're touching on all the things and providing um, a resource and a program that the students build. Um, we just facilitate a platform and they give the insight and help us grow. Tyler Johnson, the academic coordinator of Mosaic, spoke about his history and roles with the program and how his understanding about autism has evolved over time. I do everything from uh, working with academic departments across campus to um, coordinating the tutoring services, uh, coaching schedules, those kinds of things for the Mosaic program. I actually started with Mosaic uh, during my undergrad at UTC where I was a, a student mentor for the program. That was one of my first real encounters uh, with individuals with autism as far as I knew. Um, and, and it was a life-changing experience. Um, it was um, a chance for me to get to expand a little bit on my understanding of disabilities, but also on uh, my understanding of diversity. And uh, so, I, so I worked as a, as a mentor and as a student worker for Mosaic for my junior and my senior year. Uh, and then Mosaic hired me back to come fill a position um, a little more than a year ago where I got to come back and, and start doing some more of the academic coaching and more relational pieces with, with a broader um, range of the students than I was when I was doing more of a one-on-one -on -one thing as a, as a mentor. Part three, peer mentors, life coaches, and the Mosaic Events Committee. The consecutive curriculum is made up of four year-long courses that seek to guide college careers. Year one focuses on a student's independent transition into college, while year two develops identities, strengths, and self-perceptions to reframe ASD with positive qualities. Year three develops skills through experiences like job shadowing and mock interviews to prepare them for the workforce. Year four helps make students marketable by building on all previous components to establish workplace skills. Further real work experiences are explored through major internships and career fairs with students being led by structured feedback. In addition, life coaching, peer slash professional mentoring, and supervised study hours are also required weekly. A life coach expands the student's academic and social skills by focusing on their current needs. Peer mentors are natural social leaders on campus interested in ASD, with their face-to-face -face engagement helping students assess social situations. As time goes by, students are soon paired with professional mentors that help them form connections and qualified skills. I feel like this, um, like Jake, you know, has got me out of my comfort zone a little bit. Um, he's pushed me a little bit to do events or things that I'd be, be maybe overlook or just not necessarily care about. Um, so that's probably a weakness. He's you know, brought out me. Uh, we definitely uh, play on the, each other's strengths and encourage each other to keep going forward in that sense. Yeah, I can definitely speak for that in that. Um, there's been times where I've just been like distraught. Like, I, there's no other way to put it. Like, I, like we'll meet and I'm just like in shambles. Like, I am, I am smiling and I am, I am there, but like mentally I'm not. And, um, and Andrew's awesome about listening to me and awesome about hearing me and uh, talk. Like, he doesn't even have to say anything. He just listens. And, like, I'll just ramble on and on and on. And, like, it's supposed to be, like, um, you know, a meeting, technically, for, like, me to, like, advise. But in the end, it really just goes both ways. And it just, like, and it works out for me. It helps me just as much. Having a peer mentor it really means that I'm, uh, a lot of the time, I'm, particularly on weekends, I'm not really alone. Yeah, I think having Warren as my student peer has really helped me grow um, in various ways and um, we hold each other accountable and it's, it's nice to have someone that's there and go through just everything, um, the failures and successes of each other's student career. Um, peer mentor is Hannah Oliver. She is a worker at the ARC. Um, she does a lot of instructing with swing, and she is honestly the best peer mentor I could have ever asked for. I think both of us have definitely grown in many ways. Um, both of us are very similar in that we don't like to leave our calendars open. We like to fill it with whatever we can. Um, so we're both very busy individuals, 
but one thing that we have both been working on is learning how to take some time off for ourselves and be able to devote some time to our to our own self-care instead of constantly you know burning ourselves out trying to help everybody around us you can only help people as much as you can help yourself and so we have learned tremendously this semester how to help ourselves without sacrificing the time that we can still devote to other people. The final aspect of supervised study hours helps students create support through a community and enables life coaches to determine if a student's study habits are being kept in check by requiring four supervised study hours weekly. Mosaic student Julia Rose Mersch and her life coach Mary Elizabeth Aaron discuss various aspects of life My coaching. My favorite um, part of coaching is just getting to interact with students and get to know them better. Um, and as a coach, it's personally rewarding when I see like a student um, like maybe struggle with something at first, but then show significant progression and process and um, just growth um, by the end of the semester. So to me, that's a really rewarding aspect. I like coaching because it gives me an opportunity to make sure I'm like going through all of my uh, classes properly and not forgetting anything. And also, it's nice to have someone double check that I'm doing the right thing and I'm not getting behind. The Mosaic Events Committee often hosts several events that encourage fellow Mosaic students to form bonds with their fellow cohorts. I am a senator for the junior the junior cohort. And I basic my job is basically to get them uh, talk to them and get and help them get ideas. Casey Hipsher also expresses her thoughts on the events committee as well. So I've been a mentor with the Mosaic Events Committee for three semesters, almost a year and a half. And um, this semester I'm serving as the interim vice president on the committee. Um, but my role as a mentor um, is just supporting the committee as we plan events. Um, all the mentors on the committee vote. Uh, we participate in the events, we do um, everything that the students on the committee do as well. As a mentor on the committee, um, I really like to just help guide the committee to be student-led um, because I think that's when we create the most inclusive events is when the students in Mosaic are coming up with the events and planning the things for their peers. I think the best part, oh man, there's so many good parts about the events committee. I love um, the meetings just because it brings so many perspectives into one room and then all of our different mindsets have to come together and plan one event. So all the logistics and all the ideas and all the proposals for events have to come together and we have to make it happen. And that in itself is a challenge for anybody. And then when we bring all of our different perspectives together, um, it makes it really interesting and I love that part of the events committee. The best part about the events committee for me is how unexpected it is. So when I think about planning an event or going into a meeting, I think it may go one way or I think planning an event should go one way and then it's so unexpected and everything that we do is different than how it could be done. So we're always taking a different route and trying new things and really I think that's creating the best events for Mosaic. I like think of what you would need um, to consider when planning an event and then there are so many unexpected things that I would have never thought of that the students on the committee bring up and then it ends up creating an even better outcome than what I could have done on my own and I think that's what's special too. Part 4, Amazing Alumni. Several Mosaic alumni gave their opinions on what they thought of the program as well as how Mosaic helped them get jobs and other opportunities in the past. One such alumni is Olivia Barker. Mosaic program will do what they can to help your kid through college, but at the end of the day, if your student doesn't want it, they're 
there's only so much they can do. I don't think I'd be a college graduate without it. Um, their help was invaluable in helping me learn how to navigate um, not just the academic aspects of life in college, but also the social ones as well. They helped me get a, an internship in my last year of college at the Chattanooga Zoo. It was pretty good. Um, I gained a lot of experience and I hope to be able to uh, use that experience um, in an upcoming job. Mosaic helped me with the skills uh, I needed to get a job, um, helped me through the interviewing process and whatnot, but I uh, applied for that job on my own. I mean, it's been, an, Mosaic has been an immense help for uh, me and just trying to get through life, get a job and uh, start my uh, life for real. Another alumni is Stephen Clark. I am involved with Mosaic. Mm -hmm. I've been there since uh, freshman year. They introduced me to some of the people at Blue Cross and helped me through the process of applying there. Um, last summer, I also um, participated in a research experience for undergraduates um, at DePaul University in Chicago. Um, and so um, they helped me um, through the application process of that. Um, so, and then they um, just given me advice throughout college on how to not navigate life in school. It's a great program. Um, the people there, they're really passionate about what they do and about helping students. Um, and they will absolutely like go out of their way to like um, advocate you and teach you how to advocate for yourself. Um, and um, it's, it's definitely been huge for me. Um, I would not, um, or it would have been much more difficult for me to like um, apply for some of these things and stuff without that kind of guidance. The third and final Mosaic alumni is Allie Mano. Michelle Rigler helped me get this job through um, indirectly connecting me to the internship and that internship led me into having full-time employment here. I'd definitely say the people and the kids. It's challenging from time to time because like they're kids and they can be a little extra. Um, but overall it's a great it's been a great experience and I hope to continue my career here and I just hope that I can just maybe move up eventually and um, just continue working here because this is like, this is, since I started my internship, I knew I wanted to work here full time. The Mosaic program, well, they prepared me for a lot of things like job interviews and dressing professionally and how to go about, um, how to go about really just taking care of myself really for the most part and um, learning self-management skills such as like handling anxiety and overstimulation and how to cope with a meltdown if that ever happens. According to dictionary.com, the word mosaic when used as an adjective means composed of a combination of diverse elements. That describes this program very well. Sure, people with autism spectrum disorder may think differently from neurotypical people, but we shouldn't shun new perspectives just because they are different. How will we grow as a species if we never listen to new ways of thinking about things? No person deserves to be alone, and no one deserves to be neglected, even if we don't agree with them. Take an example from my own life. My roommate throughout most of college, Andrew Tafaletto, also a student in the Mosaic program, is very different from me personality-wise. He is much more direct and assertive than my rather passive personality. He is brutally honest while I am primarily optimistic toward people often giving them encouraging compliments. In other words, we are practically opposites. So why did we become great friends? It's because despite different outlooks, we shared a common interest in video games, and as he puts it, opposites attract. I won't deny that we have had constant conflicts over the years, primarily from miscommunication on my end. However, it's through these temporary spats that we slowly acknowledge different ways of looking at the world. Thanks to this gradual understanding of each other, we are now closer than ever despite past disagreements. Even if we have wildly different ways on handling everyday life, when the going gets rough, 
both of us take the time to listen to each other, and sometimes that's all you need, a good listener. Likewise, no matter who you are, it's worth making the effort to befriend people, even those with disabilities. Initially, Mosaic made me uncomfortable with new social challenges. Despite my reluctance, I matured so much through this program and met many great people. We all have weird quirks, but that's what makes everyone worth celebrating, even if it may be intimidating at first to get used to them. Once you adapt to new ways of thinking and accept people, they will often return the favor when you need help, and that's why the Mosaic program has been so life-changing to me.